Hello, uh, this is Saturday evening, uh, July the 18th. It's been five or six days since I answered or addressed some of your comments. Um, and so I was going to do some of those tonight. I enjoy doing that because I've got a feeling that if an issue that, that you're dealing with, that there's probably quite a few other people dealing with that, that same issue. And so I want to address those comments for a while you know i was doing it every day and um, and i didn't do that for the past five or six days from i would like to go ahead and address those in a video and i think a lot of other people uh, will benefit from that um, <clears throat> i'm keeping in mind that uh, you know in the future hopefully there will be a lot of people uh, viewing these videos uh, other than just the people that are viewing them currently day by day. Now, as my channel is real new, only about a month old, you this core group that I have are asking some great questions, brings up some great issues, and I think people will benefit from that uh, for years to come as the channel grows and more people um, see it. And it, on that subject, the channel is small. It's only a month old right now. Um, I'm thrilled to have the subscribers that I do have. I've never asked so far for subscribers, but uh, many of you have subscribed. I know that about half the people watching these videos have, <clears throat> have not subscribed, and about half of you have. I would like for a lot of people to benefit from the information that we all discuss together. And so if you have people that you think could benefit from joining our group here, um, invite them to come, invite them to subscribe. If you've been watching and not and haven't subscribed yet, I'll, this will be my first time to ask for subscribers, but I'll ask you to go ahead and subscribe and uh, click the like button, the thumbs up button on uh, videos that you really like, and that'll help us know things that would uh, to you know, to produce content going forward. Uh, my wife and my daughter both have an app on their phone called My Fitness Pal, and it's pretty cool. I, I never have used it, but um, you can scan barcodes of just about anything you're about to eat and, you know, or things that, as you're shopping in the store, you can scan the barcode and it'll show you all the nutritional info on that. And, uh, of course, the main nutritional info I always look at on the labels is the carbohydrates. And I'll, I look at total carbs. I know other people look for net carbs. Anyway, let's get to your comments. That, but that MyFitnessPal seems to be a cool app to use. So if, if you want something like that. Yeah. First comment comes from J.R. Lopez. Hi, Bill. How do you cook your bacon? Um, usually my wife cooks it. I cook it occasionally. I have cooked it. Uh, normally just fry it. We have a, a frying pan that you may have seen in some of Isabel's cooking videos. Um, but it's kind of a square frying pan. It actually kind of has ridges in the bottom. And I, I'm not sure what the reason is for the ridges, but um, that's that's what she cooks in. And the square shape works real well for baking because you can lay more strips out in there than you can in a round. Sometimes in a round pan, it's uh, kind of hard to lay them out. Some, one thing we've done before is cut all those long strips of bacon while they're still packed together, cut them all in half. And those smaller pieces are a little easier to lay out in a pan, especially in a round pan. Um, but anyway, uh, on that subject of cooking bacon, Isabel hardly ever, she, she never cooks less than one package of bacon at a time and usually will cook two packs of bacon at a time. And that gives us a lot of leftovers that we put in the fridge. And that's a, pa <clears throat> a pattern with a lot of the things that we eat is we'll make a large quantity of it. And there's just the two of us normally eating here. And so we eat uh, on that like a big breakfast casserole or uh, salmon. You know, when she cooks salmon, she make a great big piece of it. And that usually gives us two or three meals with the salmon. But that, that's kind of a pattern with everything that we eat. At. Cat Lady says, I'm sure folks would enjoy seeing your daughter prepare low-carb desserts. Thank her for us. Hopefully, she's going to be doing that tomorrow. She's told us that she would be happy to do it. And Sunday afternoons are when she comes over. And um, so as long as she's a busy young woman, she, and sometimes they'll have a deadline to meet and they're having to work 
online right through the weekend. But the, the plans are for her to be here this, tomorrow afternoon and, and cook uh, a low-carb dessert for all of you. Personally, I don't eat uh, low-carb. The closest thing I come to eating any kind of low-carb dessert is the dark chocolate that I've shown you, either 95% or I recently found 100% dark chocolate. And I'll have just a little square of that after a meal. But I, I really... Fortunately, it's not sweet. That dark, when it's that dark, it's almost bitter. It's not sweet. But I try to avoid anything that tastes sweet myself because once I eat something sweet, then I want more and more sweet stuff. So I just, I just try to avoid sweets. But other people may be fine with it. And everybody's, you know, I was battling diabetes big time. So a lot of people that are trying to deal with their diabetes or on medication. And I see I was never on medication for diabetes, even though my A1C was way out of line. So it actually made it easier for me because I, I didn't have to worry about my blood sugar, sugar dropping too low. And I was checking my blood sugar all the time, several times a day to make sure it wasn't going too high and make sure it was, so I was trying to see what foods made it, made it spike and also making sure that it didn't go too low, but that was never a problem. Uh, I did get down in the 70s quite a bit and even in the 60s, but it, you know, no lightheadedness, no, I felt great. So, um, but if I had been on medication, well, I could have driven it too low and that can be very dangerous. So that's why I always say work with your own doctor on all that, but that that's between you and your doctor. Um, uh, and I, in my own story, I worked closely with my own uh, doctor uh, to reduce my medication, my blood pressure medications and my cholesterol medications. I wasn't on any diabetic medication. Okay, next question, Laura, Lauren Pena. Uh, I have a hard time not eating after dinner, uh, watching TV. I want to have something. I'm weak. Any suggestions? Don't beat yourself up over, over that. Uh, a lot of people struggle with that. I occasionally still struggle with that after 19 months of of doing great. Um, one thing that I have found uh, is that if I'm still hungry after I eat, it's because the fat content in my meal was not high enough. So for myself, I uh, try to increase that fat content, uh, whether it's more butter uh, on my veggies or on my steak. You know, I smear my steak with uh, butter and any vegetables that I have on the plate, I smear those with butter and not margarine, real butter. And uh, that added fat content makes me feel so full, usually by the time that I stop eating. Even for a long time, you know, for over a year, I was eating just one meal a day, but I added enough fat content to that meal, whether it was olive oil or butter, uh, that, or, you know, fatty meats like a ribeye, that I wasn't hungry afterwards. I felt real full. And that for me was the secret and and you could try that and see if it works for you patricia johnson writes thanks for the liver meal um, idea with the easy over eggs uh, my husband will love it i buy the exact same liver uh, love that it's deveined uh, and makes for easy cooking yeah if if you've had problems with liver in the past and didn't like it uh, try finding a good quality calf liver that's been deveined and everything already and it makes a huge difference and then of course the way Isabel makes it for me she uh, fries up bacon with it and I have the bacon along with the uh, liver I believe she fries the liver in the bacon grease so it just gives it a real good flavor I love liver anyway I've never disliked liver um, but anyway on the subject of liver, uh, Patty V writes, Bill, I heard you say in one of your previous videos that you like liver liverwurst and that you just eat it with a fork. Uh, I started eating it with a fork because I didn't want crackers anymore. I used to always put it on crackers or on dark bread or something like that. She said, anyway, Patty V says, I wanted to tell you that I eat it with a slice of brie cheese and also smeared on pork rinds. Uh, use the, she, she uses those like a cracker. Those are great ideas, and, and I'm going to try that the next time I have liverwurst. I haven't had any recently. Uh, and she also she uh, enjoys potted meat the same way. Uh, and have you tried these cheese crisps? It's funny you mentioned that we 
went to Whole Foods today and picked up some cheese crisps and came home and, and put guacamole on them. And that, those were great. And they're, you know, that's a really good low carb or zero carb uh, substitute for chips and or crackers. And uh, you can make those yourself. We, we were talking about it. We said, well, you know, we had, I think, seen a video of somebody making those cheese crisps and uh, it's pretty easy to put parchment paper on a, a cookie sheet and, and just put, you know, some thin slices of cheese or grated cheese in clumps on there and let it melt and then let it harden and, and you've got your own uh, cheese uh, crisps like that. So anyway, and then Isabel's, this is Ollie's daddy on Isabel's low carb beef stew. Good stuff. I need a Instapot now. Uh, how do you clean the chicken feet before using them in the broth? Yeah, when I used to make the bean, the uh, bone broth early on, I put those big marrow bones like you saw Isabel using. And um, I also put chicken feet in there because I think it was Dr. Boz that recommended that because the chicken feet have a lot of collagen in there and just makes a really rich uh, uh, bone broth. And I just cleaned them with warm water and uh, cleaned them with warm water like in a colander before putting them in the crock pot to make it. I used a crock pot and had to buy Isabel a new crock pot after the first time I put those chicken feet in there. She was not happy about it. And so I had to buy her a new crock pot. She didn't like the side of those chicken feet in her crock pot. And uh, now she has an Instapot that she makes the bone broth with. And she only uses the beef marrow bones when she makes it and and the instapot's so much faster and easier and i think it the pressure extracts a lot of goodness out of there too so um try that and um also well okay all right oh this um this person's talking about the cauliflower mash uh we kept you know not to be confused with mashed potatoes there's no potatoes in that recipe it's just cauliflower uh, and then the the heavy cream and and um, salt and stuff like and butter um, but one th when I was editing that video when Isabel did the cauliflower mash for the queen as, as you noticed um, I forgot to I edited improperly and didn't show her draining the water off the cauliflower after it came out of the microwave. Once it came out of there, she put it in a colander to drain all the water off. If you don't do that, it's going to be too runny. That's going to be too watery, the mash. Um, and during the, the video, she had put two tablespoons of heavy cream in there. But by the end, she had put a third one. And I think I edited that out in the same section where I edited out the draining the water so in the end it had three tablespoons of heavy cream and and butter in there and we did put the that in the kind of a little recipe section in the uh comments sec or not, not the comment but the description of the video and we're going to try to do that with all the uh, cooking deals in the future to put the recipe down below and the instructions down below in writing where you can get to it quick and easy without rewatching the video okay all right well that wraps up the comments for tonight and um, thank you to all of you who've subscribed and again if you can have anybody that you think could benefit uh, send them our way and have them subscribe and those of you who are watching that haven't subscribed uh, we'd appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe and then you'll get notified when we put put up new information thank you Live healthy, finish strong.